Christy, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while and I haven't even done a haul slash fashion video in a long time. So today I thought I would do um, just a kind of like favorites of everything that I've gotten from Yesda recently. There are some clothes, there are some accessories, there's Korean um, makeup and like lip products, which is something that I've been getting more into. Um, so I can't wait to show you guys and I want to say thank you Yesda for sponsoring today's video. So we're just gonna start off with some tops. I don't really have like that much, but these are all like things that I wear like every week. I love them so much. And the first one is this floral top that I got. What I like about this is that the material is actually like pretty thick for a tank top and it just fits me so perfectly. I love layering them with these type of tops, which by the way, this is also from Yesdal. Kind of reminds me of some type of like baby tank tops at like Brandy Melville aesthetic, but yeah, this is really really comfortable for those girls in the itty bitty titty committee um, You really don't need anything under this. It covers up everything very nicely and just feels really really comfortable And the second tank top I got um, I actually got them in two colors, but I can't find the white one right now I think it's in the wash, but it's this um, Roached top. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the official title is sleeveless square neck ruched crop top and I love this so much like if you were to just get one tank top from Yestel, I would recommend this one. This green color is so cute. I also have it in a white. The two kind of fit a little differently um, like in terms of like the material and the stretch. Part over here is actually kind of like double lined um, so it's really comfortable. You don't really have to wear anything underneath. It looks really really cute on um, and I definitely say grab it in a few colors because they're so cute. Um, but this is a really highly rated um, t-shirt. It's called the Shira short sleeve cropped t-shirt. It's really really highly rated which is why I was interested in it. To be honest, I think this time I just got really really good picks from Yestel and thank god there's like TikTok now because I can just search what's popular on TikTok and it's so much easier to like sift through. But this t-shirt truly is so comfortable. It's like super stretchy. Can you guys see that? Um, and the only one thing is that the neck is pretty high up so if you're not comfortable with that which I used to be um, this might be a little bit like it does feel a little bit like restrictive and the next thing I have I actually grabbed because I wanted a mini black skirt I thought it'd be really cute for summer and fall I was actually eyeing one from I think it was Princess Polly it's the one that like um, a lot of influencers wear but I ended up going for this one on Yestal instead um, because I really liked the, the, the style of it. It has the two slits at the front, which you might not see right now. Um, but my favorite part is that it actually comes with shorts. And that's just like all you need. I am a girl who loves a good pair of skorts. And then next up, just to do a little bit of like a fall fashion aesthetic, um, I also grabbed this Sweat, sweater vest. Um, it's so cute. The material is really really good. I was kind of scared that it would be kind of like um, like scratch scratchy Is that what I call it? But it's really really comfortable I would pair this with maybe like a white button-up and like a skirt and then the main character of this video um, I got these boots from Yesta. Like what the heck? Personally for me, I'm not really the type to wear boots because it's always been so hard to find boots that actually fit me. I am pretty short and so most knee-high boots are like way, like it's above my knee and it just makes me look so weird. But I found these on Yestal. Um, inside it has like a fleece lining which makes it really comfortable and it kind of stays on your leg and I'm sure in the winter it's going to be really warm as well. My only issue with it is that the inside is zipper section like it zips really well but in terms of the actual like lining and stuff you can kind of tell that, that like what the material is inside um, but it's not like a big deal especially because it's going to be the inside of your shoe. Everything else I think looks really really good. Um, it's also really comfortable which is surprising there's actually one more thing that i totally forgot about um and it is this 
bag for the fall. Um, it's super, super cute. Usually when I get bags from Yesdale, it's always a hit or miss. And definitely this one, I think, would be one of the best bags I've gotten from them um, in terms of quality and everything. Like, it's really, really sturdy. And I just feel like this pattern is also perfect for the fall. So that is all for my fashion favorites recently. Um, but I did grab a lot of Korean makeup and I wanted to show you guys my little haul. Some things I've already tried and I'm wearing today, but some other things I haven't really opened yet because I'm still like slowly getting through everything. Um, life has just been a lot. The first four items are because I've been really, really into Korean um, lip products. So the one that I've been using already for a while now is the Peripera Mood Lipstick. And this one is in shade 01. Packaging, also a beautiful. I love just putting this in my purse. And the second one I want to show you guys, which is a, another really popular brand and product in Korea, is the Roman Glassing Water Tint. And I got this in the shade 04, I believe, the Vintage Ocean, which is kind of like a deeper red, um, but not like super vibrant, which I like. And this one has like a rounded brush. I also got two other really popular products here that I haven't really tried yet. The first one is the Ink Velvet uh, one from Peri Para. I kind of just got this because I really liked the shape of the like lip product. But also this is like a um, kind of like matte texture that I've never ever experienced before. So I really, really want to try it out. And then the other one is this one from 3CE. This one is actually a plumping lip product. Um, and it's a very, very nourishing, like balm type of consistency. This one has like a um, hydrating effect that looks like your, your lips are like kind of like wet and like juicy, I feel like. Um, but at the same time, it does have a plumping effect. So it gives that minty kind of feeling, um, which I don't love, but I also don't hate. So it's something that I am just okay with. So those are the lip products and before I move on to like my palettes, I just want to show you all the other kind of things that I have. So the first two I would go over are these concealers that are really, really um, popular and cheap. These are like $5, $6 each Canadian and I have them in two shades because I actually bought this one a bit before um, but I found that it was too light for me. This is the 1.25 so then I went ahead and got the one after which is 1.5. Um, I'm using 1.5 today and since for me I don't really like doing a full face of makeup, I honestly just go in with concealer on like my under eye area, my chin a little bit here and some over here because like I tend to get some like green discoloration here. Um, and these are perfect if you're looking for a cheaper, like affordable concealer. And the other three are just kind of like for the eye. Um, but first I got this um, glitter thing from Etude House. It's just really, really nice for the inner corners. And the other one I have is just this like glitter kind of like brush where you can also put it i tend to put this on my lids because i kind of like um sometimes having like a glitter lid and i just feel like it looks really really cute and then the other one that i got is this cleo um brown eye pencil it just glides on really really easily all right now to the palettes and other face makeup that i got um, the first one I'll show you is kind of like an eye palette and I just kind of like how small this is. And I feel like these would be really good colors just to do a very like a glowy pink look. The next product I got is this blush from Peri Para um, and I've just been really liking Peri Para products but this one also because the inside is so cute it says wear your own mood and I got this in the shade 17 um, which is a rosy brown. The next thing I got is a highlighter dual set. This is the Clio Prism Highlighter Dual in number one Cream Fizz. And it's just a very, very nice shimmery like um, type of highlighter. And if you can see, I'm actually wearing the highlighter. Then, of course, I bought this mostly for the packaging. So these are the three colors and they look so, so good. I'll also do a swatch so you can see how that looks on my skin tone. But I think today I'm wearing this one. I tend to just mix them all because I feel like, I don't know, they just kind of look good all together. And I'm not picky about my like blush 
shade so i just kind of like mixing everything to make a nice look also i forgot to mention earlier but i also got this on yesta i thought it'd be a really really cute bracelet just because i also wear a pearl up here but yeah that is everything for my little shopping haul today um i will make sure to leave everything down below because this is a quite like a big haul so if you guys are interested in, in shopping any of the products everything will be linked down below i kind of wish yesta has like storefronts so i can just have everything up on my profile there so you guys can check out what I have. But until then, I will just be linking everything. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and then I'll see you guys soon in my next vlog.